How are you today? I hope that you are healthy and excited to learn something new today. We are going to learn about fractions and mixed numbers. Please prepare your mathematics textbook and stationery. Before we start our lesson, let's pray together. Bless God, let your blessing go with me today, and grant that I may be obedient to my teachers, and may learn with pleasure whatever I am taught. Amen. In our last meeting, we learned about operations of whole numbers. I hope that you still remember what you have learned. Now, we are going to move to the next chapter. Fractions and mixed numbers. In this chapter, we are going to learn fraction and division, addition and subtraction of mixed numbers. Okay, now let's start our discussion about fractions and division. Please open your math textbook, page 54. Are you ready? Good! After learning this lesson, you are expected to be able to understand and apply the relationship among fractions mixed numbers, and division expressions. Let's start everyone. Look at try 1a, page 55. Okay, let's read together. Three similar pizzas were shared equally among four friends. What fractions of a pizza did each friend cat. Okay, three similar pizzas were shared equally among four friends. Would mean three divided by four. You had three pizzas and you share your pizza equally with four friends. Let's draw three pizzas. And there were four people. So what do we do? You could not just give everybody one pizza, could you? But you could take the first pizza and divide the pizza equally among four people. Everybody would get what slice of that pizza then you could take the second pizza and divide that pizza also equally and everybody would get another slice of that pizza and the last you took the third pizza and divided that pizza also equally and everybody would get another slice of that pizza so, how much would each person get? Good job! Each person got three slices or three fourths or three out of four. Indeed, three divided by four equals three fourths or three out of four well now we know how to solve division problems look at try 1b express each of the following as a fraction
look at try 1b part a you have whole number division here what you have to do is just writing them as fractions like this 4 divided by 5 or 4 out of 5 okay it is easy isn't it great so how about b 4 out of 9 fantastic see 5 divided by 8 equals 5 out of 8 perfect the last d 7 divided by 11 equals 7 out of 11 well done easy right okay let's move to page 57 try to a let's read everyone divide express each answer as a fraction in its simplest form 10 divided by 12 is equal to 10 out of 12 nice now can this fraction be simplified yes it becomes 5 out of 6 good job how about b 8 divided by 14 is equal to 8 out of 14 fantastic can you simplify this fraction yes good 8 out of 14 is equal to 4 out of 7 wow it is easy isn't it now how about try to be divide express each answer as a mixed number in its simplest form please highlight as a mixed number okay a 22 divided by 4 is equal to 22 out of 4 easy now change it to a mixed number what is 22 divided by 4 good the question is 5 does 4 divide 20 completely without leaving any remainder no we have a remainder of 2 but wait is it the simplest form of the mixed number yes you're right it's not the simplest form 2 out of 4 can be simplified into 1 out of 2 so the answer is going to be 5 1 out of 2 because 2 out of 4 equals 1 out of 2 how about 1b you can pause this video and do it by yourself done okay let's check your answer 14 divided by 6 is equal to 2 1 out of 3 good job but how can we get the answer let's see 14 divided by 6 equals 2 and there's a remainder of 2 we can write the remainder as 2 6 or 2 out of 6 and then we simplify it into 1 out of Three. so the answer is 2 1 out of 3 do you understand so far good next 
open your textbook page 58 and do number 3 it is easy I believe that you can do this by yourself okay are you done let's check your answers a 4 out of 3 as you already known from the previous explanation it can be written as 4 divided by 3 so just write down the numbers in the boxes is it easy yes of course now B 6 out of 5 can you find the missing numbers exactly 6 and 5 as 6 out of 5 can be written as 6 divided by 5 how about 9 out of 4 good job it's the same as 9 divided by 4 so the missing numbers are 9 and 4 the last 10 out of 7 I'm sure your answer must be correct right it can be written as 10 divided by 7 well done let's try for a could you please open your mathematics textbook page 59 and read the questions okay express each fraction as a decimal correct your answer to one decimal place one out of six step one divide the ones by six one one divided by six is equal to zero ones with the remainder of one one write zero in the ones column of the questions then rename the remainder one 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 equals one tenths step two divide the tenths by six ten tenths divided by six equals one tenths with the remainder of four tenths write one in the tenths column of the question then rename the remainder of four tenths four tenths equals forty hundreds step three divide the hundreds by six forty hundreds divided by six equals six hundreds with the remainder of four hundreds write six in the hundreds column of the questions we stop dividing the number at two decimal places so as to correct the answer to one decimal place so one divided by six is equal to 0.1 how about 12 out of 11 please pause this video and try to do it by yourself okay what is your answer 1.1 perfect if you have any questions please post your questions in the comment section 
we continue with 4p express each fraction as a decimal correct your answer to two decimal places now you are asked to correct your answer to two decimal places the steps that you have to take are the same as the previous ones but this time we have to stop dividing the number at three decimal places so as to correct the answer to two decimal places okay let's do it a one out of seven or one divided by seven with the remainder of step one divide the ones by 7 1 1 divided by 7 is equal to 0 ones with the remainder of 1 1 write 0 in the ones column of the question then rename the remainder of 1 1 1 1 equals 10 tens step 2 divide the tens by 7 10 tenths divided by 7 equals 1 tenth with the remainder of 3 tenths write 1 in the tenths columns of the question then rename the remainder of 3 tenths 3 tenths equals 30 hundreds Step 3. Divide the hundreds by 7. 30 hundreds divided by 7 equals 4 hundreds with the remainder of 2 hundreds. Write 4 in the hundreds column of the question, then rename the remainder of 2 hundreds. 200 equals 20 thousands step 4 divide the thousands by 7 20 thousands divided by 7 equals 2000 with the remainder of 6000 write 2 in the thousand column of the question And we stop dividing the number at three decimal places. So as to correct the answer to two decimal places. So when divided by seven is equal to zero point one four. B seven out of twelve or 7 divided by 12 please pause this video and try to do it by yourself okay what is your answer guys 0 0.58 well done do you understand so far good job well this is the summary of this lesson. Two divided by three is the same as two out of three. Two divided by three can be written as two out of three. Remember, to write the fraction in its simplest form. Besides, we can use long division to express a proper fraction as a decimal. Okay, to have better understanding about this lesson, please do some practices in your math workbook on pages 
43 and 44. Do your best, capture your work clearly, convert it into PDF, and send it to me Google Classroom. Have a great time! Thank you!